Hey, what's up everybody? Noah here for Adafruit, and today we're taking a look at making a mobile case for your mobile phone. This is designed and 3D printed using um, Semiflex Ninja Flex, and this can also work in regular Ninja Flex, though I chose Semi Ninja Flex for its, uh, its quality, it's more rigid, and it has less elasticity, but still maintains that awesome flexibility. So here we are in 123D Design, and we, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the procedures and steps um, that I take uh, for creating this design. And the first thing you want to uh, first thing you want to do is to find some dimensional drawings. In this case, I did a Google search and I found um, these uh, tech specs uh, directly from Apple. So um, in this tech, tech spec, um, everything is listed out here: every button, every switch. There's no switches. No, there's one switch. Every uh, everything, the camera, the speaker holes, everything is listed out. And if you follow it directly, you can uh, create um, all the measurements and fittings for it. So here is the main shape. Let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the objects here. And this is the base shape, right? Well, let me start off with the base shape, OK? So this is what you'll first make. Um, this is just a box with a chamfer and not a chamfer, but a fillet on the edges and the corners here to make this. So this was actually um, measured to the dimensions of the iPhone itself. And then I uh, made the individual uh, cutouts. So there's the power button over here on the, on the right side. And on the bottom, there's uh, two holes for a speaker, a microphone, and the audio jack. On the left side, we have two buttons for the volume volume up, volume down, and then we have a cutout here, which is for the, uh, the mute switch. And that's pretty much it there. Um, and oh, and don't forget the back. The back has a camera and an LED sensor. And you'll notice that the camera is a little bit off to the, uh, to the side there where there's, uh, there's a fillet. So it's a little bit on the edge there, but uh, that seems to work OK with this new uh, iPhone. And this is for the iPhone 6 Plus, by the way, so it's the bigger iPhone. Um, but these same steps uh, can be used for any other phone. So the thing here is we're actually, we're actually going to use this base uh, shape um, to subtract from the actual case, the, the shape that's going to be the case. So the second object is this bigger uh, block that encompasses the, um, the iPhone shape. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, subtract that. And then we're also going to have to subtract um, an opening, a bottom opening and a top opening so that uh, we can access um, the shape and subtract from it. So we'll do that now. We'll just subtract this from that. And then we're left with a hole at the bottom. And now we can subtract um, the case from the base shape, like that. And now we have um, a box with a cutout. And then we have a bottom that is closed. So what we'll do is I created another shape on the bottom, lined it up perfectly. And now I can subtract the case from the bottom opening. And now we have our iPhone case. All that's left really is to subtract and merge uh, some of the elements. So here we're subtracting the, uh, the audio jack, the speaker, the power switch, and of course the camera. And then we just subtract those. We do them in a batch so it's easier that way. And the last thing we'll do is we'll merge the case with the buttons. That way we have uh, a nice manifold design, and we can just hide everything else. To finish the design, I'll just go ahead and add a fillet to the bottom and the top. So the bottom, we'll just add a fillet to, actually not see it's E on the keyboard. We'll, we'll add a fillet to about three millimeters to be fine. Three looks pretty good. And then the top, I'll probably add a bigger one on the top. Let's just see how far we can go until it uh, reaches the top there. Looks like we can go up to four, but I'm going to go to three. So there you go. We've got three in the top, three in the bottom. Works pretty well. And that is pretty much our iPhone case. 
Um, this is going to print as is. There's no need to, uh, to create uh, any chamfers or anything as everything, all the overhangs and things will print pretty well, especially with Semiflex, Ninja, uh, NinjaFlex. Um, because of its uh, more rigid, it can have a finer detail when printing. So that's pretty much um, this week's Layer by Layer. Check it out. This is on uh, Thingiverse and Umagine. You, you can get it now. And we also have Semiflex and NinjaFlex in the Adafruit shop. So be sure to check those out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember to make, share, and repeat. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.